Do you ever get an inexplicable sadness? When you don't know why, but something's not right. And it drives you mad, because you ain't got no reason to be sad. Just this sinking feeling. Guess I should reference Titanic, but I haven't seen it. So I'm just going to explore this empty feeling, reading into it. I know I'm not depressed. Guess we all get stressed. And that's life. But isn't there more than structurally living to die? Do you know what I mean? Does anyone know what I mean? Suppose I'm just chatting shit because I'm lean. No way, this hole is deeper than any sleeper state induced by the green and reefer made me lose interest in pursuing money and big checks because I just want to travel and invest my intellect in making this planet and people more intimate and reducing hate because it's so insolent. But I can't because I've got a job, a nine to five and I've got to provide for my future wife and it's driving me crazy. It's like the system made me. A product of my environment like CO2 emissions rising, sea levels rising, diseases are rising, house prices are rising and thanks to money's interest love is declining. I'm sorry, I know this is a bit depressing and I'm trying to deal with my feelings openly on a stage instead of repressing them so thank you for listening and giving me a platform. I'm sorry for the diversion, we're on route, we'll be back soon. To that empty feeling. Nothing's broke but it's like my heart needs healing. Ink for antiseptic and paper to bandage the hole where my chest is. Cause that sounds more natural than dressing wounds with iPhone notes and antidoting my restless brain with Facebook quotes, email jokes and stupid internet quotes. Cause that shit's empty. Less substance than a ballet dancer's Weight Watchers meal for one. That shit wouldn't fill me. Hence why I'm stuck here with an iPhone, not a quill G. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking as me. This is generational, I'm talking as we. We need more to life than structurally ordered lies. Every day gone, we're closer to the grave. Forced into financial prison and we haven't got a choice if we want to keep living. They present to us a life that's fine. Not great, not outstanding, just fine. And that life is filled with cigarettes and wine, bikinis and TV and oops, it's mortgage time. But if you've got a mortgage, you're doing good. Especially at 20. If you've got a mortgage, you're doing good. You're set for life, you're sorted, you're nice. Unless you think there's more to life. In which case, what kind of mistake is it to be witch hunting peace preachers and truth speakers while we're all led astray like sheep, blown away like ash on a tray its peak? Because we are the future. But what chance have we got when from the age of five we're systematically tick boxed and boxed in by stereotypes and trying to fit into this negative vibe? But mostly we're contained by what we're shown is all a good life can be. And we're controlled by the options advertised on TV. So our big role models are footballers, models and actors, TV personalities and gangster rappers. So even the best of us, we're condemned to be normal like the rest of us. Because we don't praise charity workers, doctors and nurses, people who work for the ambulance service, teachers and normal people trying to change the world. Because if you've got a mortgage, you're doing good. And if you think outside the box, you're not encouraged like you should be. You're criticised for difference and told you're not living up to what you potentially could be. We need a revolution. We need a hero. Our generation needs a Nelson Mandela. But how can we bear leaders when free thinkers' hands are tied apart tight? And anyone with more sense than money can see nothing about this world is right. And our helpless inability to change aches at my brain so we find an escape. Because this world's a hard place to take. Where's our generation's Gandhi? Probably rocked up in a rave somewhere doing Mandy. Cause he was never given the opportunity to bring his thoughts to fruition. Anything out of the box was criticised quickly. So he's stuck with this helpless inability to change.